Little buddy and I are heading out to a drop point to get our Thanksgiving turkey, and then when we get back, we're getting ready to move the cattle panel greenhouse. That's right, here we go. That is the truck and trailer with the turkey. Only they're leaving. Well, maybe that's not them. I thought that was them. <laughs> this one might be them, let's check. Yeah, that's them. The farmer from whom we normally purchase the turkey is not able to do the drop today, so she asked some friends to do it for her, so I wasn't really sure who we were looking for. How are you? We got two turkeys this year. These are pasture raised and supplemented with non-GMO feed. We originally ordered one 22 pound turkey, but the farmer said there was a big shortage in her bigger birds this year. She had a lot of smaller birds, so we wound up buying a 12 pounder and a 10 pounder to get our 22 pounds. We needed a decent amount of turkey this year. My dad and his wife, Diane, are hosting Thanksgiving at their house again. My mom is also coming, and my brother is flying in from Atlanta to visit for Thanksgiving also. Where are we going? We are meeting Pops to give him the turkeys. Is this the turkey transfer? The turkey transfer, Hi. indeed. Hey, hello. How are you doing? I'm Did good. you see the turkeys? They don't. Like that. Yeah, there you go. Here, watch. I'll do this. I love you. I'll see you in two days. With that taken care of, I need to focus now on preparing to move this thing. My plan is to take down a portable electric fencing and to drag the greenhouse right over to just outside the corral. What I'm planning on doing is once the greenhouse is right over here, extending the cattle panels out to go around the, the greenhouse, that'll effectively double the area of what is the corral now, and that can be a chicken yard for the winter, which we can then turn into a garden in the spring. David, who has the silver fox rabbits that we met about a week ago, he is on his way here now. He's gonna be here in just a few minutes to help me pull this thing. I'm gonna do as much as I can to get ready now so I'm not wasting his time when he gets here. Here they come. How's it going, David? Good, how you doing? Good, thanks for coming over. David here has graciously offered some of his time to help me move the cattle panel greenhouse. Thank you, David. Sure. And uh, I was originally planning on drilling in some holes in the skids and we would put a rope through it and pull it, but I cannot find my rope. Luckily, David here has come up with a, an alternative plan. So we're gonna use the ratchet straps put in some screws on the skids and attach the ratchet straps to that and try and drag it that way. See if it'll work. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna collect the fence up real quick and then we'll get moving.
here come the girls. Seems like they've gotten pretty tame now, huh? They're a little better. Little buddy, do you want to introduce them to the sheep? Hello, my little one. Who's that one? Yep, this is Daisy. And that, and I don't know. I don't remember what that is. It's sage. That's sage, sage and that's clover. Yep, yeah, that's clover there. Since these guys are mixed, are they... Are they still 100% hair sheep, or is there some wool sheep mixed in there? Or? The Frisians have a lot of wool, so they're considered a wool sheep. All year she had this coat. She didn't get uh, like a hair sheep. You said she was 100%? Yeah, but this one is full cotton, right? Okay, so, so she. this is typical. Right. You can see how her coat looks kind of thick right now. It's thickening for the winter. She will grow a thicker coat for the winter, and then she sheds it in the spring. I should have brought some treats. It's so fluffy. I just built this stand for them. My plan is to integrate this into the cattle panel greenhouse with the chickens. Um, so they will be suspended over the chickens and then their droppings will go down. The chickens will scratch it up and all that. But what I've noticed is they've both taken to choosing their bathroom on the corners where the 2 by 4 is right under. Oh, yeah over here too for the female they've both done that so their droppings aren't falling through it's my understanding that they always kind of choose the same spot anyway is that right yeah for the most part i know mine mostly go in one spot and i noticed uh i think last week they picked new spots okay i don't know why but they did <laughs> when i originally built my cages i built them like this i thought it was going to be better but i actually took mine off and switched it to the outside okay just because um well, when we had nest boxes in there and stuff, I couldn't get the door to close with my big nest box in there. Exactly. So. <laughs> Can I pet her? Yeah, of course. She is really soft. Thank you so much for coming over. Thanks, Thanks so for much for your over. help. Well, that was really cool of David and his wife to come over and help us out with that. The cattle panel greenhouse is really not that heavy. It wasn't that bad moving it at all. Check out that spot where those pullets are. It was definitely getting a little squishy in there on the ground. Definitely time to move them. And you can see back there where they would sleep each night. I just got the fencing back up and I got the green mesh stuff up in there. So the pullets aren't going to slip through the electric netting. It's not a rectangle formation anymore. With the haystack right there, I had to work the fencing around that so the birds don't get into the hay. They have a pretty good front yard area here. A little bit on the side. It's time to let them out into their new paddock. Ice here is holding out. Come on out, Ice. There you go. I'm happy with the progress we made today on this. It was really good to move them onto fresh ground. Like I said earlier, that spot over there was getting kind of worn out. I'm sure they appreciate it too. I think the next move is just to start getting the mulch in here and then we'll build the cattle panel fencing around here. We'll be well on our way into winterizing the chicken situation. Mm -hmm.